everybody so today i'm going to show you how i make my thank you cards i'm not going to show you all the exact same ones that i use and that i've made i'm going to walk you all through basically the steps it's really simple really easy it's free um you can do it at home you can print them yourself i'm going to show you all and i hope this is very simple and easy for you all to follow if you have any questions be sure to let me know in the description i mean not in the description in the comments down below um, but yeah, if y'all haven't followed me on my Depops, I have a men's shop as well. I, this is my first time announcing it here on this channel. It's at O underscore It's Lissa Men. And then my, of course, women's is at O underscore It's Lissa. So if y'all haven't followed that, then y'all should go follow. I'll put some screenshots here on the video. And yeah. Then that's it. So if you guys want to see how I make some thank you cards really, really easy, then just keep on watching. So we're on Google. I like to use the website Canva. This is free. You just sign in, you make an account. You don't have to do the pro version. So this is the main screen once you're signed in on here on top. Here I like to just type in business. Mm, let's type in thank you cards. Thank you cards. And then you click enter and then you should see some thank you cards here on the side now you can use these kind of thank you cards and just change your wording change your letters or whatever um, but what I did is I went to actual business cards because I wanted my thank you cards to be small so I went to business cards and then these are options that you have the one that I specifically used um, was actually I don't think any of these but I actually wanted to use some sort of inspiration of one of them so you could go to like Google and just type in on here business card ideas um, and then just get your inspiration from there but we're just gonna stick go with the flow so I actually like this one girly of course I would choose this but okay this I'm going to change. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to search a square. And you get a bunch of free stuff. Um, of course, there's more premium options. But I'm going to get a square with rounded edges and go like this. And I like how it gives you the little symbols, the little lines to position where you want it. And you click position to go to the back. And I like to make this a little bit transparent. I'm going to make this white. And then I'm going to change this. So thank you. I'm going to thank you. I'm going to put thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase. And we're going to put... Copy that, just paste it. And we're gonna do depop at O underscore it's Lissa. I'm gonna make this one smaller and put it here in the middle. This one I'm gonna space it a little bit better and make it a little bit farther apart. So this is the front. I like the first part of my business card to be real simple, really clean. Then you click down here on add new page and you get a second page. So I'm going to search for another pink flower, right? Um, I'm going to find one that's similar to that one. You can search really anything on here and they'll give you free options, which is really, really awesome. Actually, this is going to be really girly, like springtime. Then I'm going to get another square. I'm going to do this. Bring this forward. This is going to be a little pink. We'll make it more transparent. All right. And I'm going to do dot, dot it line. We'll do border. Borders. So we'll just use this one. that right and then control copy command V which is control paste 
and we're gonna put another one of these here so you can add more stuff you can go onto a google search i mean i can type in like palm trees on google go to images do background and you could do certain stuff like this too like like this one this is actually really, really cute so this one we're just going to copy and you can you should be able to just paste it yep so for example i just put it all here and then position it back 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 There's just two ideas there. Get creative with it. I mean, it's up to you guys how y'all want to do it. All right, so now it's time for some text. So you just go to text. Um, I click anything and then I just put, thank you so much. I know you will enjoy your item. I know you enjoy your item. I would appreciate it if you could leave me a review. You could leave me a review again. And then you can put like your social media handles on here if you want. So you just literally type in, go to elements and you just type in Twitter. This is what I love about Canva. Like you don't have to go to Google and keep finding stuff and copying, pasting things. You can literally just do it all from here. So like here's my Twitter and then you go to Instagram, type in Instagram. So here is Instagram, right? And then I just go to text again. And I'm gonna put at O underscore. It's Lissa. So you can do it in like a letter form, which is really cute. This is really simple, really cute. You can make the, the text match. So this is Playfair display. You go here and you just type in play fair display. Play fair display, and there you go. Super easy. Um, and then you could do um, save ten percent off, save thirty percent off next order. Message me code, save thirty. Could do that like really tiny here and then this one you could do like a box behind it so i'm gonna do box oh let's go to square and we'll do this one looks like a little coupon so that it's an example of a thank you card really simple really easy there's the front you have your depop name thank you for your purchase and then you just put thank you so much, know you enjoy your item. Just do your own flavor, your own saying, whatever you want to put on here. Um, and then you just save it. So you go to download and PNG, always do a PNG. And I save page one first. Download. All right. Then it's in your downloads. And then I go download again. And then do page two only download the reason why i do this is because you're trying to print them double-sided on word so then you literally just get your thank you card so what i did is just drag this onto here and you just delete one and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a bunch of them side by side and you just copy and paste so so you go to format image arrange and I just do none so I have free range of what I want to do so here is one picture there's two two back to back so then I just copy I just do command hold both of them copy both paste both So this is how I do one. So 
I save it and just put I'm gonna just put Depop cards video and then you want to make another one I'm gonna duplicate it and we're gonna do Depop cards video back and so you want to drag the back part onto here so now you have this right so the exact same portions that you use on here you just do it on on there like that right so you can keep this on the background of it you can delete it if you want to but i'm just gonna command copy paste and just paste it on there and then hold these two copy both and then paste it should match up perfectly and if it doesn't you print it you see if it matches or not and if it doesn't then you just keep going you just keep messing with them and it should print evenly when you print them and then when you cut them now essentially when you cut you want this to be really even here so if this flower is true to the side you just go back and edit it and move the flower or get rid of the flower or whatever um, it's really trial and error so I'm gonna go ahead and print one okay so the first part printed and it came out like this right so if the wording comes out this way all you have to do is just flip it like this and then put it in this is cardstock paper I'll link some in the description and then you print the back side and they should match up and if they don't you just do some tweaks and that's it okay so I just printed there's the front and there's the back so I'm gonna use one of these paper cutters and cut them and hopefully it lines up right and yeah I mean with these paper cutters you just line it up with the line and cut it and it's really simple so I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna cut them see if they line up and then I'll be back okay so I just cut them up and look how good they look like this is so cute so thank you for your purchase and on the back it has the information um, see some of the flowers get cut off so what you would do is you would either take away the flowers or position them a little bit better they look so cute so here is thank you and then on the back it says thank you so much for your purchase whatever whatever you put on there it looks really really clean really cute now I would change the flowers I would either get rid of them add a different design or make this smaller or just make the flowers smaller um, but yeah I mean for the first time just doing it on the first try it's really really good really easy really simple saves you money especially if you're just starting out this is a really good way to do it so so I really, really hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. And I hope this gave y'all like a better understanding of what to do and how to make the cards or whatever. And hopefully y'all can add your own, you know, like little spice, little flavor to it and make your cards. This is free. This is easy. This is how I do it. Um, a lot of trial and error. Of course, you print them out and see if they come out right. And yeah, I mean, you have some thank you cards. So Hope this video helped you guys out. I know it's very simple, very easy, and I hope it is simple and easy. Give this video a big thumbs up, and please give me some video ideas because I'm not too sure on what to film nowadays. I don't even know. But, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will hopefully see you guys very, very soon. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.